Hello! In this video, I want to show you a quite different process from the one I show normally in this channel. I want you to join me to paint this World War II aircraft using acrylic paints. And of course, we're going to start with the sketch. I start by drawing a very long rectangle that I divide in halves. In this instance, you're going to see me taking measurements constantly using a paintbrush. I observe positions, sizes, and angles. I use this measurement to mark some key points in the paper. With this I start observing some different shapes, like the roundness in the body of the aircraft or the point where the two wings should meet. In this paint, I'm going to use acrylic paint on paper. I will be using Arteza, Franco and Rosetta acrylic paints. In the process, I will be using mainly flat and fine line brushes. As always, the recommendation is to start painting the background. I use the different blues and white diluted with water to create a transparent effect. Keep in mind that the paint is not going to slide the same on paper that it would do on a canvas. I like to add some paint splatters, in this case I do it with white paint. The paint approach in this painting is a very direct one, which means that all the colors I'm applying right now are going to be the final colors, which means applying lights and shadows from the beginning. All of this almost without any blending. In the aircraft body, I applied darker blues for the shadows and lighter blues for the areas in light. From this, I create a greyish hue for the lower parts of the aircraft. Apart from drawing anatomy, or cartoons, or anime, 
I also like to draw mechanical objects. And it's undeniable that the aesthetics of the machines in these times were astonishing. So painting them or drawing them is always a temptation. Using white diluted with water, I'm going to create light areas over all the aircraft. We can also create different shadow areas, like in the joints in the metal or in the different cavities in the aircraft. With a more opaque white, it means undiluted, we're going to create all the highlights. Using a dry brush with the same color of the shadows, we can paint the rotors. We're going to try to make these strokes following the direction of the rotation of the rotors. More defined in the center, but much more blurred in the outside.
We can paint some details inside the engine. As well as the exterior details in the paint. Such as the stars or the numbers. as well as the red detail on the wings. Some highlights, a few small details, and our airplane is complete. If you like the video, I invite you to like it, to subscribe, but most importantly, share it with someone who can find this content useful. See you in the next video. Adios.